It's half time in the World Cup match between Germany and Portugal and the nightmare goes on for Portugal. Germany is now 3-0 up and Portugal are down to 10 men. Now, any parent who has been up all night with a teething or a crying child pacing the floorboards for hours on end will know just how exhausting and upsetting it can be. But new research carried out by Dr. Ashley Garvey, who's a paediatrician at Her Lady's Children's Hospital in Crumlin, has found that up to one-third of Irish parents are now giving their young children over-the-counter medicines like Calpol to get them to sleep at night. We can talk now to Bernard Duggan, who is spokesperson for the Irish Pharmacy Union. Uh, Bernard Duggan, first of all, are parents regularly giving their children medicines like Calpol? Well, Calpol and medicines like Calpol and Norfin are very effective medicines when they're used for the correct condition at the correct dose. So we would frequently see um, parents coming in looking for medication for fever or for pain that their child is experiencing, be it from earache or from teething. And in those circumstances, when they're used at the correct dose for the correct duration of time, they're very effective medications at providing relief from the children in those circumstances. I suppose what this study um, highlights is that we all need to be extremely careful about medicines, and particularly when we're giving medicines to children. And we need to seek advice from ourselves, from the pharmacist, so that you have the correct advice and information so that you know the correct medication to give to your child and also the correct dose to give that child for their age and their symptoms. So essentially you're saying medicines like Nurofen and Calpol are not sleeping tablets and they shouldn't be given to children, to young children, to get them to sleep at night? No, they're, they're, not, they're not sleeping medication and they shouldn't be used to help put the child to sleep at night. For example, maybe though if the child was in pain due to teething and that was disturbing their sleep, the, their use as a pain reliever in that circumstance would be appropriate. And again, it's about talking to your pharmacist to see what is the correct medication and what is the correct dose they should be using in those circumstances. And of course, it's very difficult for a parent to know if, if the child, if we're talking about a baby who obviously yes. can't say why they're in pain or what is wrong or why they can't sleep, the, the urge is to perhaps give a, a dose of Calpol to, to ease whatever pain they may be suffering. That can be the case, but again, you know, it's important that we do, medicines can be, can be dangerous if they're not used correctly, so it's important that we use them responsibly, and in that, when they are used responsibly, they are very effective. So it's both important if the parent does have concerns or is looking for medications to treat a certain condition, be it pain, be it fever, that you can go in and talk to your local community pharmacist. Um, they will be able to give you advice on the correct medication, the safe way to use medication in children, so you know how to have the appropriate, how well you know the appropriate dose to give, because typically medicines for children are dosed by weight and by age, and also that you know you're aware of the uh, the correct directions for use for its use, and also that information is also available on the package and on the package information. And, and just very medicine. briefly, Bernard, another of the findings was that many parents, 20% of parents, give their children over-the-counter medicines before vaccinations, and that kind of have an impact on the effectiveness of the vaccination. Yeah, there is new information coming to light that this may have an impact on the vaccination. I suppose, be it an adult or a child, when you get a vaccination, you can have a reaction to that vaccination. You might develop a fever. And in those circumstances, it is appropriate to use um, something like paracetamol as a treatment for post-vaccination fever. But it shouldn't be routinely given after a vaccination, only if the child is suffering from a fever, which can be a, a mild reaction post-vaccination. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Bernard Duggan, their spokesman for the Irish Pharmacy Union. Now, let's get the weather forecast for the evening ahead. And tomorrow, Clara Finkele is at Met Air. And hi, Clara.